Hey there everyone, it's Hillary of Creative Faith and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so glad you're here. I want to encourage you guys to hit the subscribe button down below and the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of my videos. I have a lot of fun things in store that are all fall related. It is cooling down, the leaves are starting to change, and it is such an awesome season here in Oregon. And I wanted to share with you guys a brand new printable that is available in my Etsy shop. I'll have the link down below so you guys can go check it out. It may or may not be on sale for a special introductory price for a limited amount of time. So definitely go pick it up. Today I'm gonna walk through what comes in the printable and then I'm gonna share with you guys five different ways that you can use it. So I'm really excited about that. Um, so first off, I'm just going to do a little flip through of what you get in the printable. There are three, six, seven, eight pages that come in it, which is super awesome, a really good deal. So the first one is the, it's all uh, a fall bucket list. So um, this is something that I've been wanting to do and I'm really excited. I hand doodled all of these little images. I have a really fun green, orange, and pink color scheme for fall this year. And so the, one of the printables that you guys get are all the images colored in with my little hand lettering with the different bucket list items. So eat a caramel apple, make hot apple cider, visit a pumpkin patch, wear fall clothes, put up fall decorations, walk through a corn maze. So this one is all of your icons colored in with different bucket list ideas. So you guys can cut them out and use them in a variety of ways. You also get the icons like this. So they're colored in, but they don't have my prompts on them. Because maybe instead of eat a caramel apple, you want to say, like, give a caramel apple to a neighbor. Or uh, my prompt for this one is drink something warm. Maybe you want to say get a pumpkin spice latte. So this way you guys can use the images to create your own bucket list ideas. And I also wanted to conclude it this way because you can use these printables for other things other than just doing a fall bucket list. I plan on using these in my Bible journaling. Um, I have some cute ideas for that. I also plan on using it in my bullet journal and planner and you could use these to make a card. So there's lots of fun ways that you can use these images that are not um, using a fall bucket list. So um, I wanted to include it with, give it to you guys without the topics. You also get a black and white version. So I thought this would be cute if you maybe had a different color scheme that you were working with or you wanted to color them or give it to your kids or your students to color. Um, so I wanted to include a black and white version. So then you have a few different bingo boards. So I thought it would be really fun to have different bingo boards for you guys to do. So what you can do is cut out these images and then glue them down on your bingo board. And then so you could try and get five in a row or you could try and do all the activities. So I thought that would be something really fun to do. Again, I included a colored version and then kind of a grayscale version. So depending on your fall color scheme. And so this is almost an eight and a half by 11 size and then I included a smaller one too. So maybe you wanted to glue this into your planner or bullet journal, this size would fit. Um, also, if you guys did not want to use the icons, you could still use this bingo board and just hand write out your own ideas for a bucket list. Then you also get two different sizes of covers. So please forgive up here. The laminator ate the page. <laughs> so this size is, I think it's like four and a half by nine and a half, and it is the same size as the cover for a happy planner half sheets. 
so you get this cover size included in the printable and then these are tiny sized and you these will fit the size of a micro happy planner um, and I'm going to have a YouTube video coming out soon where I show my fall setup in my micro happy planner and so um, you can use it this size for that or you can use it to do pocket journaling or things like that. So that is everything that comes in the fall bucket list printable in my Etsy shop and so now I'm going to put you guys on fast forward and show a setup and then also walk through some different ways that you can document your fall bucket list in this season. All right, so I am working in a happy planner, a classic happy planner. I call it my happy planner bullet journal. <laughs> um, so I, my normal bullet journal that I use is getting really full, and so I'm trying to do like fun spreads, not necessarily in that notebook. So this is where my happy planner bullet journal comes in because it has lots of blank pages that I can use for making fun lists or tracking things that I don't need to look at like every single day. So that is going to be kind of my background for where I am creating in for this spread. Now, I had originally wanted to like paint the background or use gelatos or use some sort of color on the background, but I just got tired and lazy. <laughs> so you could create a colored background and that would help the spread to like really pop even more, but I still love how it turned out. Um, so I printed off the uh, printable on just normal copy paper. You could also use white sticker paper and this would look really cool also and give you a similar look and feel minus needing to use glue. And I will link my favorite white sticker paper down below if you guys want to check that out. Um, so I'm first just cutting out all the little icons I went through and I didn't want to include all of them because I thought the page would just get kind of lost. I knew I was going to use those little box stickers that are on the right of the page and so I didn't, I knew I needed to have more room. You could also, and I might still do this, make it a two page spread and so be working on both sides of the page to include more bucket list items. So that is another idea if you wanted to include more of them. So I went through and picked out kind of the ones that I really wanted to use and then I realized I still had too many. <laughs> so I had to remove some of them and I was trying to kind of spread out the different color schemes with the pinks and the greens and the oranges. Um, so anyways, I am just taking some time to arrange them. And then I knew I wanted to have a title. I had kind of a blank spot in the top left hand corner and so I knew I wanted to write out fall bucket list. Orange is not a color that I typically use in my planning and creating and Bible journaling and things like that. And so I thought I remembered that I had these illustrated faith stickers that I had won in like an Instagram contest from them, which was kind of cool. And look at that. None of the oranges were taken yet. <laughs> so I knew I had plenty to spell out fall bucket list. And so you could use stamps to write out a title if you want. You could use stickers like I did. You could use your own hand lettering. So there's lots of different ways that you could write out fall bucket list in the top. It would have been cool. I don't have any number stickers that are match this, but it would have been cool to put 2019 underneath also or in like the bottom corner. Um, so that I can remember which year this is from. But also I'm going to put down those little box stickers um, with each of the icons and so that's where I can put like October 1st 2019. So I'm not overly worried about that but it would have been cool I think to have a few more of the alphabet um, stickers or something in the bottom corner. These box stickers that I'm using, my mom got for me from Walmart, 
which I thought was so neat. I love checking out Walmart for different uh, crafty supplies that are more budget friendly. I actually have a whole Walmart shopping spree uh, video on my YouTube channel that I'll put in the description box below. Um, but I loved these kind of neutral black and grays and a lot of them had little titles but you can see I am able to just cover up the titles using the icons. So that worked out really well and I just think these little stickers are so cute. And so then in the various boxes I can write out the day of when I did that activity. I could also write out like who was with me and where we went. So like if we went to the pumpkin patch, which pumpkin patch did we go to? If I had a warm drink, which drink did I grab? Was it a pumpkin chai, a pumpkin spice, a salted caramel something? <laughs> So I can use the little boxes for memory keeping. Now, if you don't have box stickers, what you could do is just use a pen to draw a box. So that was gonna be my kind of backup plan. Um, but then yesterday, my mom got me these stickers. And I was like, oh, this works out perfectly for my fall bucket list video. <laughs> so I was excited about that. Um, I just love fall and I think it is so much fun to have a little bucket list to be working through. And then off camera, I added a few fall flower stickers. So you'll see those in my final spread. Also to just dress up the blank spots on the page. All right, so here is my final fall bucket list spread in my happy planner bullet journal you could also do this in a normal bullet journal or planner or blank notebook and so i'll be able to write the date when i did it in the little box so that was idea number one idea number two for how you guys can work through the fall bucket list is using a micro happy notes notebook so this is a little baby planner and so one of the little tabs says lists and so here is a spot where I can print off pictures of me doing the various activities and write a little note underneath and it's kind of a way to document what I have done on the fall bucket list. So here was eat caramel apples so I took a picture. You could also use the icons, like I could have glued this down here, which would have looked really cute too. So you can also use these little icons to document and then take some notes. So that is idea number two for how to work through the fall bucket list. Idea number three is to use a happy planner half sheets. So, um, the laminator ate my paper, <laughs> but you can use this as the cover on your Happy Planner half sheets. Um, I still need to make a back to it, but it's the same size. So this comes in the printable. And so then you can, again, either glue these in and do like some journaling or add pictures for memory keeping for your fall bucket list. So that is another kind of fun way to document. So that was idea number three is to use a happy planner half sheets notebook to work through your fall bucket list. And idea number four is to use a fall notebook from my shop. So they come with two patterns. There's two different patterns you guys can choose from. I'll put this in the description box below if you guys want to check them out on my Etsy shop. So one of them is this beautiful sunflower. And then another one are these cute pencils. Yours does not come with sermon. I stamped that out on mine. <laughs> but you could use the inside to document your um, bucket list. So again, by adding these little prompts to the inside and journaling about them. Um, so using a traveler's notebook is always a super fun way to memory keep and document for different seasons. So that is idea number four. And idea number five, I think I have to go run and get. All right, 
idea number five is a fall junk journal. So you could use the, a junk journal that you made to work through and add the little prompts and write about what you did and when and who was with you and stuff like that. So that's idea number five is to do or is to use a fall junk journal. This is one that I um, ring bound and I actually have a YouTube video where I walk through how I make this and so I'll put that in the description box below. So again, I hope this gave you guys some fun ideas about how to work through a fall bucket list um, using the bingo boards or journals or notebooks and really celebrate this awesome season. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give this video a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!